Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are here to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Sorry, I'm adjusting my microphone. Remember red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on the yellow hearts if you rock with me, got my six. Me to have my back because I have yours. How about that? So let's see where this energy takes us. Let's see where this reading takes us. Um, yeah. Let's see. We have the strength card. So um, the strength card can mean a couple of things. Of course, we are recognizing our strengths. Of course, we are strong. Of course, we know that. But we have to also know if we believe in ourselves. And sometimes we are put to the test when we have a realization when it comes to the judgment energy. We're put, we're put to the test to face uh, yourself, face your fears, and also uh, figure out whether or not you, again, believe in yourself. And sometimes believing in yourself is harder than facing yourself, you know, and it's harder than facing your fears. And, you know, that is when we start to get into a situation to where we go with the flow and we start to help and put more into people, places and situations instead of putting it into ourselves. And so, therefore, why is my TV up so loud? I don't even think about that. I just turned it on and the commercial came on. So anyway, that is kind of how I see that energy. You have to kind of determine whether or not you are believing in yourself and if you are able to face yourself and face the world at the same time. Because sometimes Page of Cups energy, there can be a blockage. Uh, when And it doesn't say blockage. Your Page of Cups is not blockage. But what it is is you having to be able, you, you being able to create and to be that um, the dreamer or, you know, to be surprised or to have something new happen for you. But it also comes with, you know, you being sensitive and also uh, in check with your emotions. But at the same time, do you really, really, really want to face yourself uh, and new ideas and being creative and going with the flow? Yeah, because see, when we get into that mode of having to face the things that we are afraid of, which is we're kind of afraid of ourselves uh, respectfully. Um, when I say that, I'm not meaning it in a disrespectful manner, but um, the Page of Cups energy tells you to um, let your imagination wander, you know, uh, and to be able to create and do things that you want. And it's not just about dreaming, it's about actually doing. But we oftentimes, excuse me, start to overthink when it comes to the Eight of Swords energy being out here. We start to overthink and we start to kind of... Um, at some point restrict ourselves from you know and, and and start to play not not play the victim but start to kind of doubt ourselves uh when it comes to us facing the things that we know we have to face and the things we have to do in order to move forward seven of pentacles in order to plant seeds and sometimes we don't believe in ourselves when it comes to you know love when it comes to relationships when it comes to the people who we we put into our lives and the people that can either help us or hurt us and the five of swords energy always has us dealing with our own ego but also dealing with people with egos and therefore it, it makes us doubt ourselves you know the five of swords energy is an unwinnable situation but the five of swords also can look at a situation to where it's like conflict disagreements but you know you're going to win at all costs and this also makes you feel defeated so the type of energies that you deal with uh they're going to win at all costs but Again, it makes you feel defeated because they don't give that same support to you that you give to them. And the Seven of Pentacles is like the options that you have when it comes to Ten of, uh, Ten of Pentacles energy, 10 years of being happy and to be harmonious, but at the same time, having legacy and financial wealth and long-term success is basically what that is. And that's when you have to look at yourself and why you decide to overthink and deal with more egos than anything else. And to kind of talk yourself out of it and try to support the people who you know need um, more help than you can actually give them. And that's the that's the big thing about it. You are trying to give help to people who aren't really trying to help themselves, who, are, who don't really care about, um, you know, what you have going on. They only care about themselves and you're caring about their mental status. They're caring about financial success and gains. And you're like, I've already planted seeds. I can get this and I can have that. We can build together. We just have to do it together. We have to be able to do that. That causes you to overthink and that causes ego to come into play because this person doesn't want to 
be in your shadows because they kind of know that you have the strength to be able to walk alone. But the realization that they have is that you are happy and bubbly and they don't understand why you're so, um, you know, why you're okay with going after your dreams and not being able to fail or not, not, not being afraid to fail. And they don't like that witty type of energy, if that makes sense. I'm not sure it just came out. But again, the seven of Pentacles, uh, it just lets you know that planting seeds and also looking for, um, you know, a long t- long term perspective or investment. And that could be marriage is something that this person may not be willing to do. Let's clarify the strength card. Yeah, it may not be something that this person is trying to do. And recognizing your strengths is something that you have to do. You have to be able to face your own fears and believe in yourself and not wait for this to happen, especially when it comes to a person who, yeah, look at that, who makes you feel insecure. And yeah, uh, King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles energy says there's no reward without risk. Create opportunities. Don't be afraid to fail and invest your time wisely. Somebody is not investing their time wisely, which is what you believe is you, right? And also, it's because there are other things and other uh, uh, distractions out there for them. So they keep you in limbo, hangman energy. And the hangman energy is like you surrender to this cause of, you know, doubting yourself because you believe that you can, you know, it's like this could be us, but you tripping, you know. And this, there's always third party type energies when it comes to dealing with why you can't recognize your strengths and why you keep dealing with this ego type energy because it's not really giving you it, it's more so codependent if anything because you see the potential in the relationship and the situation and if you guys just plant the seeds together the realization and the judgment energy excuse me is you facing yourself of knowing that this is not going to work out and so you know they just don't agree with uh your bubbly personality, they they like to have their cake and eat it too and to leave you in limbo at the same time. So we're clarifying judgment energy. Judgment comes out with the moon in the reverse. So, you know, here's the thing. In the upright, it's, it's remembering something. But in the reverse, it's just letting you know that, you know, it's like you have to release your fears. You have to release your fears. And that is when it comes to you know, you facing yourself, releasing your fears. Let's clarify the moon in the reverse. You releasing your fears and not just remembering why, because it's in the reverse. Yeah, and the Ten of Cups, yeah, see? This is you, yeah, facing your fears, and this is the Drake energy, knowing that you only live once, be bold, be fearless, do what you love. Eight of Wands energy, and it's also you understanding that, you know, you have to move forward. There has to be some type of communication or movement here. And if that's not happening, then you have to be the one to, you know, set precedence over um, this of what you really want and say what it is that you want. You want happy life, happy wife. You want a family, but at the same time, you want a family with not just love, but with love, understanding, and a uh, foundation. And so with that being said, ego, walking in ego, there's no way that that's going to happen. So that's where your bubbly creative personality when it comes to the page of cups being here you just have to kind of look at things in a different perspective and just see different opportunities and know that the invitations that you want sorry the invitations that you want um is not there and it's going to always cause you to overthink and to be like the what ifs uh of the relationship we're clarifying the page of cups energy right now yeah so uh, page of cups comes with the ace of swords you know that there's not going to be any type of invitation or any type of opportunities in this situation. So, therefore, the only thing you can do is face yourself. And also, you know, when it comes to, like I said again, um, surrender to what the divine has to offer for you. And that's having clarity of a certain situation that is not working out. It's breakthroughs that you have to happen have in order to be successful and that you have a mental clarity. So, uh, and not just overthinking. So we're clarifying the Eight of Swords energy. Yeah, you're not just overthinking about a situation. The Eight of Swords energy comes unsure with the Four of Pentacles. You're unsure. It's like, should I stay? Should I go? Of how to pull your energy back. You're unsure if you want to do that. It, you're, you know, saving money, you know, having some type of uh, pullback or securing your finances because of, you know, and and protecting yourself. So it's like self-protection is what you have to do 
at that same time when it comes to the eight of swords because you overthinking the situations and you you know basically you're restricting yourself of movement because of the fact that you're doubting a situation you're doubting your strengths you're doubting what it is that the universe has to offer for you and so therefore with the four pinnacles clarifying the four pinnacles i don't know you you have to you know you have to just know when to hold them and fold them you know and it's restricting you a lot and that ego energy and it could be ego uh five of swords energy could come from you playing down what it is uh yeah following your heart when it comes to this love energy and also the king of cups so we have the king of, uh excuse me we have the knight of cups we have the two of cups and we have the uh king of cups energy so uh, what the king of cups is is like having emotional balance or controlling a situation when it comes to the two of cups it's like that is uh some type of mutual attraction it has nothing to do with just one-sided love or whatever but it is um, a type of love that you want but the knight of uh, cups being here it's like you have to be idealistic when it comes to what it is and follow your heart uh, especially why you have to pull back the energy because you know it's causing you to it's restricting you and so this love thing is restricting you and it's causing you to you know to kind of be naive and so clarifying the seven of pentacles in any way um i don't know why i said anyway Clarifying the Seven of Pentacles comes with the Emperor energy. So the Seven of Pentacles energy, again, it's you building, you know, it's having long-term long investments, long-term success. But the Emperor energy being here, it just lets you know that back to respecting yourself. And, you know, that is what you need to do. You need to learn to respect yourself because, again, with the long-term investments, making decisions in regards to why you want this happy life, happy wife, and you want stability it only comes with you respecting yourself it only comes with you respect respecting yourself surrendering to the divine facing yourself and understanding that you have to find balance in a situation that no longer serves you or find balance in your um in yourself find balance in what it is that you want but that all comes with you respecting yourself does that make sense and believing in yourself but at that same time you know it's hard to do that when you just you know kind of want to surrender to this thing called love and the ten of pentacles because it looks good but again it's all that's glitter isn't gold especially uh, when i just said the yeah nine of pentacles the nine of pentacles is seeing the rewards right but the nine of pentacles is also you understanding that when it comes i just put a fresh piece of gum in my mouth and it's burning my mouth when it comes to you and your financial independence and just being self-sufficient you don't really need anybody to build the found to build a foundation you have to start somewhere and that's you planting seeds and that's what that is planting seeds and respecting yourself but the nine of pentacles being here it just also lets you know that this happens when you realize and have balance and the balance energy when it comes to temperance it's finding balance you have to be able to find balance in a situation where ego shows its face and the three of pentacles energy and you have to find people that complete you and not deplete you. So if this person, Ten of Pentacles, is more worried about looking the part and, and doing other things outside of the situation and keeping you in limbo, you have to decide what it is that you want. Um, you know, uh, again, the Three of Pentacles, this person on this card is like um, uh, basically drawing a picture of a woman but this is the type of person that you want to know somebody that's going to be infatuated by you that's going to love you and is going to work hard in order to make sure that your foundation isn't depleted and that you are happy and not upset and in the queen of swords energy respectfully and that's the judgment energy that's here all day the judgment energy just lets you know that when it comes to you know dealing with people places situations you are the one that has to make a decision for your betterment, you know, if that makes sense. And so sometimes it's you facing yourself and facing your fears when it comes to having tower moments. Tower moments are endings that bring new beginnings. And so the unexpected, you know, expect the unexpected. But at the same time, when the unexpected happens, you have to know when to walk away. Six of Swords energy, because, again, this is having uh, making head over heart decisions and not heart overhead decisions the king of swords energy is basically you know having mental clarity and also um 
finding your power and understanding the truth. And sometimes it's standing up for yourself. And so here it is. If you are in the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords energy, you know, or you're dealing with the King of Swords, somebody who only really cares about themselves and needs to face themselves, their only thing you can do is just allow them to do that and realize that you want somebody that's going to love you to be infatuated with you three of pentacles type energy and want to work with you as a team and build with you and that's all you want is a foundation and you know you know all that glitter isn't gold but at the same time you know with the emperor energy being here it just lets you know to respect yourself but you can't have this in the midst of this you know if something else is catching their eye you know and you you know people are okay with watching you guys thinking that you, you thinking you have everything together and this person is like yeah but they don't know him like i know him or know her like i know her you know them or whatever so this is not gonna happen if you can't really really understand i said really really twice if you can't understand what it is and that's you being able to communicate with the things that you want and so sometimes it comes with the price and the price is working on yourself and also finding balance within yourself. And so that's kind of how I see that. I'm going to go ahead and pull from the four agreements. And then after the four agreements, yeah. I'll pull from the crystal deck, focusing on the chakras. I'll put the link up above in order for you to um, know my perspective of that. Okay. Four cards come out. Yeah. So the four agreements. Be impeccable with your words. Always do your best. Don't take anything personal. Yeah, okay, and be impeccable with your words. So every we got three out of the four. Um, so it says be impeccable with your words, cultivate balance. It says to have great faith is to have great power because your intent, because your intent, your will is undivided when your word is dissipated by doubt and the power of your word becomes even stronger. So you're not going to be doubt, doubtful in regards to the situation of when you decide that you have to walk away from a situation. Sorry, I hope I hope you guys could, he could hear me through this because my microphone was in a different direction. But anyway, always do your best. Surrender and let go of the past. Sometimes the past, again, the past can hurt, oh, Rafiki says, but you can either run from it or learn from it. You're learning that ego is not what you want, even though that tough guy or tough gal attitude or that the one that, you know, wins everybody over and that's always in the crowd is the best thing that, that looks good and you're infatuated by that. You want somebody that's going to love you and be infatuated with you. So surrender and let go of the past. Whatever life uh, takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right now, being in the present moment. And then don't take anything personal. Love and respect yourself. That's what it said all throughout this reading, you know. And that's the thing. You have to learn emperor energy to respect yourself and to make decisions that maybe it might not be the things that you want. The emperor is also when it comes to, you know, having a solid foundation. Solid foundations and structure comes with learning you about authority and respect. You can't have respect if you let people walk all over you. You know, somebody said it's like asphalt. You know, you be, you can be, become like asphalt and let people walk over you respectfully, right? You are very, uh, you are never responsible for actions of others, but you are responsible for someone if, if, if someone, excuse me, you are responsible for you. If someone isn't treating you with love and respect, it is a gift if they walk away from you. You may hurt for a while, but your heart will heal eventually. And that's what you're learning to let go of the past. It's going to hurt. Yes, the past does hurt. You can either run from it or learn from it. And you're learning to respect yourself and learn from it. So, excuse me, the other one says be impeccable with your word. Let go of self-judgment and blame. It says be impeccable. Being impeccable, you, can, you take responsibility for your actions, but you don't judge or blame yourself for anything. And so that is what you're learning. You're not blaming yourself. You know, you're not you're not blaming you're not yourself. You're not surrendering to the disrespect anymore, the egos. You're respecting yourself and you're you're learning to face yourself and move forward. And that is what this life, this thing called life is about. It's about finding balance in all of the chaos. And so that's just kind of how I see it. OK, all of these cards. 
turned over. So I guess I'll take this one. So the ruby, the blue kyanite, and the zoisite turned over. So we have the blue kyanite is the throat and the third eye chakra. Um, it's communication, psychic abilities, and balance. That's the blue kyanite. It says, I easily receive all forms of communication that are for the highest good. I easily receive all forms of communication that are for the highest good. The Zoe site says the heart chakra, motivation, positivity, and focus. It says, I am filled with joyful and creative energy. I am filled with joyful and creative energy. And the ruby is the root and the heart chakra, abundance, endurance, and passion. It says, I thrive in all areas of my life. I thrive in all areas of my life, whether it be love, whether it be situationships, relationships, you're going to make sure that your relationships are not just situationships or temporary emotions um, and doing things based upon, you know, permanent decisions based on temporary emotions. So you're going to be able to determine what the difference is between love and respect and respecting yourself is after you move forward and surrender and let go of the past, learn from the past. So let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.